Okay, welcome to the first tutorial where I'll be dealing with gain, working in space and time. Isotope RX offers some really cool tools for editing not only the amplitude of a waveform, but also the frequency spectrum. And we can toggle between how we view those with the slider down here. Now we're looking at the waveform, and now we're looking at the spectrogram. If you've never read a spectrogram before, it might appear a little bit confusing, but it's quite simple. The loud events will appear bright, and the quieter events will appear dark. So we can see kind of what stacks up in which particular frequency range. The gain module is a powerful utility, and it's not to be underestimated. There's a lot of innovative sound design that can be done just through using the gain module to shape your sound over time and the frequency spectrum. I'm going to switch back to a view that's in between the waveform and the spectrogram and take a look at what is happening here. This is a file I recorded of a gong in a pretty unusual abandoned space here in Berlin. Where this gets interesting for sound designers is that we can boost or attenuate specific frequencies throughout the frequency spectrum. So I'll switch over to my spectrogram and I will pull up my frequency selection tool and I can just go ahead and notch out specific frequencies. And I can preview what that specific frequency band sounds like by clicking my Play Frequency Selection button. Pretty eerie. I can add to that by holding down the Shift modifier and drawing in more frequency bands. So let's say, for example, I want to attenuate those. I can just go ahead and bring this down, my gain slider here, to negative 29 dB, and hit process. And you can see that it gets darker, which means that I've removed or reduced those particular frequency bands. I'll be getting into a lot more examples about frequency selection, but for now, I want to continue on with gain. Another way to adjust gain within RX is the use of clip gain. It can be viewed by selecting the View Clip Gain button. Clip gain allows me to create nodes, which I can place along the timeline, allowing me to create volume fades or dynamic swells or just simply to cut out unwanted material. Visually, I also consider this pretty spectacular as the waveforms update for both the spectrogram and the waveform views. I pulled up another example. This happens to be a drum beat. And what I'd like to do is to introduce instant process to you. Let me just reach over for my gain module. You can see that it's set to negative six. Let's set it a bit more dramatic. Let's say negative 13. And any of the processing that I do with the instant process, I can select from any of these subcategories here. All what I need to do is make a selection and it will instantly process whatever settings are set to the module. In this case, it's going to attenuate by negative 13 dB. I'll reach over and grab my time frequency selection tool, or I can use the R key command, and I can just start selecting specific frequencies and attenuating those. So let's go in here and just randomly start moving and shaking, and I'm just taking out whatever frequencies that I'm selecting here in the spectrogram and just reducing those. I could also do whole bands of things across time, and that will process those as well, and you can see those being notched out beautifully. Let's hear what that sounds like. 